Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the beautiful world of RimWorld, where we are looking at the beauty indicator here and noticing a few things. Smooth stone has a beauty of three. Dirt has a beauty of negative 12. This bust has a beauty of 56. It's a really nice bust. And unfortunately, wires that go across wires that go across the floor of a room lower the beauty by two. So this is smooth stone, but the beauty is only one because of a wire here. So I think what we need to do is run the wire around the outside instead of across the floor. Hey, it's good to know, right? I didn't know this. This is awesome to know. All right, so where is my wire stuff? Orders deconstruct this. Yes. And run the wire around the outside instead. There you go. Easy peasy. Yeah, having the wire go across the floor apparently is very bad for beauty. Who would have known? Also, uh, we found out where carpets are. Carpets are in the flooring section. They're right here. Red carpet, green carpet, blue carpet. But if we click on a carpet and we go to the information, you can see it has a beauty of two. And to build a carpet, we need cotton. Whereas currently we just have smooth stone Smooth stone, we know, has a beauty of three just by using the little beauty indicator here. See, three, 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 three. So why would we ever use carpet when we can just use smooth stone, right? The only thing that has higher beauty is this gold tile, which has a beauty of four. But it's probably a lot easier just to use um, sculptures because we can make some sculptures right now. We have a sandstone sculpture right here. We can probably make a marble sculpture. We can make a slate sculpture. We can do whatever. But we do have quite a lot of marble. And I think what I want to do is uh, remove a bunch of the walls and build marble walls. Because marble walls have higher beauty than steel, right? Steel walls are not going to have... They don't have any beauty at all. Whereas I think marble does have beauty. Am I right? Oh, no, they don't. Marble walls don't have any beauty. All right, well, what kind of walls can we build that that does have beauty? Because I can just keep building busts. They don't take but a few days to make. But I was hoping to have walls that have beauty. And unfortunately, marble does not have... Oh, maybe if I... No, the, the walls never have any beauty, apparently. That's interesting. It's good to know as well. Yeah, it looks like the walls just don't have beauty. All right. So there's no need to replace this with marble walls. None. Hmm... Buildings on fertile ground can't be smooth, right? But, but I think, I think we can smooth almost everything that we've built on. Shit. Yeah, we've built on a, like a stony area, so we can smooth almost all of this. Should be okay. And anything that we can't smooth, we should be able to put down. I don't know, carpets or just wood floors or whatever. Probably carpets. But to do carpets, we're going to have to get a, uh, what's it called? We're going to have to get a cotton farm. Area revealed. What? What are you revealing? It's... It says area revealed, but it's nothing. We're just digging. <laughs> it didn't reveal anything. I don't know what it's talking about. Okay, we still have 125 meat. We should probably queue up a little more hunting. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Looking for stuff to hunt. Oh, we can hunt these things, right? Engineer for chemical production. The boomalope. Oh, maybe we shouldn't hunt boomalopes. That sounds like it explodes or something. Let's hunt something else. Let's find some boar. Any boar around here? There's some corpses. Shit that we didn't collect in time. Because I'm bad at this game. Boar? I might be blind. I mean, the problem I have right now is this monitor is so big. It's a new monitor. It's massive. This monitor is so big that I actually can't see all of it without turning my fucking head. Ah, a rabbit. Yes, hunt this. Are there more rabbits? It could be. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing much in terms of meat. We need meat. Lots of meat. Uh, oh, we could eat the humans. We could eat the humans. I wonder if that's a bad thing. Oh. He's rotting. Uh, never mind. Uh, this guy's already rotted. Yeah. Desiccated. Alright, screw that. He's rotted and desiccated. Oh, Deimos. Deimos, get out of the way. Have I ever played Dwarf Fortress? No. I've loaded it up and I looked at it and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? And then I stopped. But I've never actually played it. I've seen people play it. And it looks fun. But it's definitely out of my league. Like, it's stuff that I, I simply don't understand. It's that complicated, right? It's complicated. It really is. All right, that should be good. Shouldn't have any collapsing ceilings or anything. Wow, Mitch, took a while to kill that rabbit, didn't you? Didn't ya? I wonder if we can fish. That might be kind of fun. Another way to get meat, I guess. Ah, yeah, there's a boar. Yeah! And a tortoise, hunt it. Hopefully they'll get some muffalo again. Those are so easy to kill and they provide so much food. All right. Okay, physician's in here smoothing everything down. Good job, dude. Apparently the corpses make this area really disgusting. <laughs> I can understand that. Oh, right, let's queue up another sculpture. Small sculpture. Details. Does it matter what we use? Gold, steel, stone blocks. Let's uh, turn everything off. Let's do a marble sculpture, just for funsies. There you go. Oh, I guess it's going to be tomorrow. That's fine. Down left corner buffaloes. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, we'll hunt one of these guys. Or we don't really need to right now. There's a lot of animals down here. Visitors, all right. Area revealed. Oh, look. Yeah, area revealed. So much revealing. It's not exactly news. Let's queue up some more digging. All of this stuff along the wall needs to be dug. For sure. Bow shizzle. I guess we'll leave that block there. Bobos. Bobos, get out of the fucking way. Bobos. Well, at least he's not in too much of the way. Alright, we're starting on some marble now. Are you chewing my Ziploc bag? We have found compacted steel. Well, that's nice. Good. Steel's good. We use it a lot. Although we do have a lot. We're probably going to have to expand our warehouse area. Getting pretty full. Smoothing the floor. Good. Keep smoothing. Visitors are leaving. Good. Get out of here, visitors. Hopefully someone will do some cleaning here. We're getting really dirty in here. I wonder if it's easier to get dirty floors if it's smooth stone instead of the uh, wooden floors that we had. Because the wooden floors, they weren't dirty all the time like this. 
But it could simply be that we have people doing tasks that they normally weren't doing. And because of that, they're not getting the cleaning jobs done. Because I know we have a few people on cleaning tasks, yeah. I think we need to make a bigger cooler. Yeah, the gravel apparently cannot be smoothed. Right, so what are we going to put in the gravel? Just some wood, maybe? Deimos? Deimos, seriously. No, get out of here. Thank you. I don't want to throw you off the table anymore. I'm sick of it. Don't piss me off, Deimos. <laughs> Could put some silver tile there. It's just very expensive. Eh, metal tile is probably fine. Yeah, that's fine. Cargo pods. Hey, that's our first one, isn't it? Hey, what do we get? We get some skins, apparently. The cargo pods have dropped off skins. What the fuck? Dromedary leather. Yeah, this was cargo drop. Okay. Why not? Oh, and there's some more geothermal out here. Oh, let's tap that. Tap that! Need some wiring. There we go. Very nice. Do we have enough ore for that? Yeah. We have a ton of cut stone. Holy crap. We have... Tons and tons of cut stone. I think instead of using steel to build, we're going to start using some of this cut stone to build. Because it's just everywhere. We have sandstone and slate and marble just all over the place. And I don't think it takes that much to build walls with it. So let's start walling off this area with some marble. Marble auto door. Why not? Yeah, we have lots of this cut stone now. Whoa! Oh, lightning just struck here. Oh no, no it didn't. We had an explosion from all this stored power. Well, crap. Uh, I guess we need to make everyone clean this up. Put it beating fire out. Good. Beating fire out. Good. We need to get rid of the... What's it called? The roof over here. Just right here, maybe. And we'll put the roof back later. Um, let's make sure everyone's putting the fire out. Beating fire out. Beating fire out. I know you want to sleep, Mitch. Put the fire out. And sleep when you're dead. Alright, everyone's putting the fire out. Good. Aw, oh, we lost our solar panel. Well, shit. No big deal. And nothing really got too damaged here. We didn't even lose any of the walls. So let's put the roof back in. Medicine needs to be in the fridge. Also, wood, guns, and clothes shouldn't be in the open. They will deteriorate. Interesting. Okay. But we can leave stone out there. Okay, so that's what we can do. This can be our stone area. Then we can put medicine, wood, guns, and clothes in another field right here. Ah, that's a good idea. I'm glad I thought of it. It's 
It's going to be for medicine, wood, guns, and clothes. Um, just turn off all of it. Okay, no corpses. I want medicine. Where would medicine be? Medicine, there we go. Where's wood? Wood. Medicine, wood, guns, and clothes. Okay. Trying to look around my microphone at the giant screen. What about guns? Weapons. There we go. Okay, medicine, wood, guns, and clothes. There we go. So that means we can turn them off over here, and they'll just get moved over. Medicine is off. I guess the textiles can stay over here, because they're not clothes. Wood. Guns and clothes. Okay, medicine with guns and clothes. Done. Excellent. Yeah, they're just moving them over. Perfect. That means we can store a lot more stone over here now. Stone blocks. So let's designate all of this area to have all the extra shit removed. Uh, where is that? Orders. Haul things. Oh, I love haul things. Haul all of that. That's a lot to haul. Well, someone's got to do it. That marble looks nice. A mid-world chef named Carl Straffers... A mid-world chef named Carl Stafford calls you from nearby. He is being chased by pirates. Again? He begs for safety. If you accept, you'll have to fight. Of course I'll take a chef. He's naked. <laughs> he's fucking naked. And yeah, he's got 10 cooking. He's good with animals. Okay. And he can do pretty much anything. Except he can't carry shit around. He can't do dumb labor. Labor. Steadfast, hard work. Yeah, all right. He looks fine, really. Um, we could use some more gun turrets down here, I guess. Last time we had someone join like this, he was really a big asset to the team. And that was Mitch. He turned out to be amazing. I rename Mitch. I'm going to call him Horse. He is a workhorse. He gets a lot of shit done. And Chimp? Well... Chimp is going to be our gardener. We have a digger. We have me. Aguilar. What is she? She specializes in what? What do we have her doing? She's doing crafting, hauling, and cleaning. So she basically breaks down chunks. So we'll call her Chunks. <laughs> what a good name. That's her job. Chunks. Alright, so why don't we get Aguilar. We're, we're going to get her drafted. And Mitch also needs to be drafted. So, stop whatever you're doing. Well, no, no, no. We'll, we'll wait for them to attack and then we'll, then we'll do that. For now, Carl is just going to, I don't know, put some, it looks like he's going to go put clothes on. Yeah, he's going to go pick up some clothes. That's fine. All right, where's the raid? It's three dudes. They're all... Okay, two of them are naked. Why are they naked? They're wearing hats and nothing else. Uh, let's see. Melee attacking a marble wall. He's igniting a cooler. And he's melee attacking a turret. Interesting. 
they've got two melee weapons and one gun. So it shouldn't really be that big of a trouble for us. They can probably take out one of our guns, but that's it. We should be fine. I'm not even going to wake anyone up. Yep, they're going this way. This turret should engage them very soon. Here we go. Yeah, they'll take out that turret, but they won't get past the next turret. Yep, one down. Now we could try to recruit some of these guys. We don't have to. Oh god. <laughs> oh, he got slaughtered. And Jerry's running away. Alright, now we could try to recruit this guy. We, we do have a room here. We can make this a prison cell or whatever. I wanted to make it a medical room, but whatever. Um, What are your skills, Jack? He's a soldier. He's a melee specialist. He's incapable of hauling or mining. He's a brawler and a prostophobe. What does that mean? He believes the human body is limited for a reason. To him, bionic body parts are unethical. Hmm. And he has a lot of injuries. Oh my god, that's a lot of injuries. Um... I don't think anything we do is going to make a difference. We're going to let him die. So, with that in mind, um, strip him down. Strip him down. Need to rebuild this turret down here. I love these improvised gun turrets. They are amazing. They are amazing. Put a few turrets down there. Uh, put some up here. Maybe out here by the lake? Sure. Just scatter them around, whatever. The other guy ran away. Harvest him, turn him into a Borg? <laughs> I don't think it works that way. There is no Borg setting, is there? Or maybe there is, and I just don't know what I'm talking about. So these roses are 102% grown. Do they improve beauty? Beauty 14? What? Holy shit, these roses. So much beauty. Wow. We need roses everywhere. I didn't realize they were that much beauty. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Roses. 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 Growing roses. Four beauty from roses. Are you kidding me? I guess that means what we should do is we should put some potted plants in the house with just roses in them. That sounds like an amazing thing to do. And we're going to want them down here as well. Holy shit. Just all along the walls. Just roses, roses, roses. We're probably going to need a second person for growing tasks. Holy shit. That's a lot of beauty. <laughs> Power went out. Alright, so what are we going to have Carl doing? I mean, he's good at cooking. I guess we can make him a dedicated cook. We can do that. He is a chef. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So he's our new cook.
Anything else we want him to do? I don't know. What else does he do? I mean, he's pretty all around. He's good with social. We can have him talk to um, prisoners. Um, what's handle? Is this animals? Yeah, he's good with animals. Okay. All right, so he's going to be our main cook, which means I should probably put him on 2-2 two, two here, so this stays highest priority. Um, construction, yeah. If he's got nothing better to do, construction and repairs are always useful. I don't think I want him growing, mining, tailoring, smithing, researching. No, that's fine. So he's our chef. Okay. So we'll call him Chef. And who was our chef previously? Our previous chef was the gardener. Okay, but the gardener doesn't need to do that anymore. So let's make this priority three. Make these four. So number one chef is chef. Number two chef is the gardener. He's pretty good at it. But what this means is the gardener's gonna have more time to do gardening. And that's kind of important. So maybe we can afford to put roses everywhere. We need a bed for the chef, though. Um, let's make another bedroom here. Do we have enough marble for another marble wall? Uh, yeah. Marble wall. Make this one big bedroom. Need some vents. Ah, oh, we made a small sculpture. What did we make? We made... Oh, he's still delivering it. We made a good small sculpture. Beauty 65. Even better than the last one. On this work is a depiction of a wild boar buried... Wild boar being hunted by Vivian Aguilar on May 2nd, 5,500 AD, or something like that. The wild boar seems to be totally oblivious. There is a plane off to one side. The image is totally devoid of both bloodshed and God. Interesting. Market value is $680. Cool. Fantastic. So let's install that somewhere, somewhere that needs beauty. Um, Kitchenary could use some beauty. Negative 12, negative 20, negative 42. Uh, research area could use beauty as well. I mean, and, and everywhere needs beauty. There's no place. We can always move these, right? Yeah, we can just uninstall and reinstall them. So I'll just pick it up for now. And we'll put it down uh, right by the research lab. That's right, chunks. You get to work on those chunks. <laughs> And Shen is now cleaning up everything. Good job, Shen. Construct more solar panels. Um, well, we have one that's going in. I don't think it's a matter of needing more solar. I don't think we're using that much juice. I think the problem is we have damaged solar panels. And our second generator is not finished. Our second thermo generator is not finished. And I think that's what's holding us back. We need to finish the second thermo generator. And we need to finish rebuilding this solar panel. We need some more graves as well. Kitty. Kitty, get out of the way. Bad kitty. What is a steel sarcophagus? An ornamental burial receptacle for the honored dead. Now, oh, what's the difference? It has uh, value. Okay, nothing amazing. I guess sarcophagus can be above ground, huh? Okay, the walls are in. Dig this up. 
And let's put a bed in here. We can start making nicer beds. Slate block bed. Why not? Hey, kitty, I hear you. And let's smooth all the flooring in here. You think we're going to starve? I don't know. We're doing okay. We probably need to do some more hunting, though. Let's hunt uh, some of this muffalo. Just so we have enough meat. We have a lot of meals ready to go. Bed's going in now. Just in time for bed. Nice. Very nice. But the beauty in here is crap, right? Yeah, it's pretty crap. 3.4 beauty. Nice. So what does he think about this bedroom? Is it a good enough bedroom for you? Let's see. Disturbed sleep. Slept in the cold. Slept on the ground. That was from last night. Feeling bad. In a little pain. Worn out. Clothes. He's comfortable. Ate a fine meal, and he's joy-filled and low expectations. Comfortable. I'm not sure what's doing that. I mean, it says he's comfortable. I guess it's considered comfortable furniture. Whereas this, even though it's a bed, is not as comfortable. See there how it's below this tick? And this one is above the tick. So this slate bed is more comfortable than the regular bed. Good to know. We'll probably just replace all the beds with whatever the best beds we can make. Maybe a golden bed. We'll see. Everyone's up. They all had breakfast. That was nice. It was like a communal breakfast. Put some joy time in there. Oh, there's a muffalo. <laughs> Lots of muffalo meat. Hey, we finished our hospital bed research. Nice. So we can now do... Cremation is probably going to be something I want. Crypto sleep casket. Allows colonists to construct caskets, which can be put living beings in a state of suspended animation. Interesting. Smelting, IEDs, explosive IEDs, machining, brewing. Uh, let's get brewing. Get some beer. What could possibly go wrong? But yeah, we are out of time. So thank you so much for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time. Well, our happy little town is actually doing quite well. I'm, I think this is fine. We're up to seven people now in our little town. We have some dedicated specialists. We have a chef. We have a gardener. We have a sniper. That's nice. Now we have a surgeon, who's unfortunately our best miner. We have an empath, who's our best physician. And we have an artist, who's made a couple sculptures already. And I guess we can make some more. Are you happy with your... Oh, wow. Look how happy she is. Holy shit. Look at the joy. Wow. Look at that. Tons of joy. Social chat. Optimist. Ate a fine meal. Feeling good. Pleasant environment. Man. Things are really looking up and up here. And we have a nice defensive perimeter here. Look at all these guns. Holy shit. Guns, 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 guns. Guns everywhere. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.